E-commerce owners, there are three reasons that your brand isn't as profitable as it could be and why you're still stuck on the day to day. And I want to get to understand why that is. The first reason is you're not tracking profit daily. You see, when you're running ads on Google, Facebook, TikTok, or whatever platform you decide to use, the most effective way to measure its performance is the revenue it produces you in your Shopify platform and then the profit it brings back into your business. You see, if I can comfortably measure $3 spent on Facebook and I know that I'm going to bring back $2 in profit net from that dollar spend, I'm going to spend as much as humanly possible because I know that Facebook's effectiveness, its algorithm is finite. It's not going to be around forever, but I'm actually able to prove I can get a profit from it. And the problem is businesses that get stuck with ROAS or on-platform metrics, click-through rates, and all these things that are important but not measurable in terms of business growth restricts businesses from being able to spend online. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that they're over capitalizing on their operating expenses. You see, I've spoken to brands that do 100K, 200K per month plus, and only have three or four staff, maybe an office and a packing warehouse, or they'll just even outsource all that. And then I've also spoken to e-commerce businesses that do 30, 40K per month, have three or four staff full time as well, have their own retail front that drives no revenue for them. And they have a social media contractor and an agency and the list goes on. And the difference between these businesses is substantial substantial in terms of profit because one business has to do 50k per month in revenue just to cover their operating expenses while the other one only has to do 20k and the rest goes all into the business bank account and so the best thing you can do as an e-commerce business is minimize your operating expenses that way you have more profit in the long term and the last thing is to make sure that you're profitable in first order unless you're not bootstrapped meaning that you haven't raised funding and you have a lot of resources to spend which hint very few of you do the best thing you can do for yourself is make it so that when you acquire a customer, whether it's through Facebook, Google, or TikTok, you actually make a profit from that that contributes to your operating expense and pays for itself. If I can pay Mark Zuckerberg 50 bucks to get a customer, but that customer pays for himself and the advertising, I'm doing that all day because I know I'm going to bring that customer back with an exceptional service and my email flows, but also I actually want to spend more on advertising and I'm able to spend you know, 50, 60, 100K per month in ads comfortably because I can predict how much profit I'm going to bring back. The most successful brands are the ones that break this first customer cycle and, and actually profit, keep the operating expenses low. So those are the three reasons that you haven't been on a scale. If you can implement those into your business, I promise you're going to see much more prosperity and be able to get out of your business day to day.